Smells good. You are very good. Kutri la tab shibid, galbi na par mayrid. Kutri la tab shibid, galbi na par mayrid. Lo giltiri nadem, lo tertiri khatem, lo giltiri nadem. Welcome to another episode of Chopstick Travel. My name's Luke Martin, and today is episode four of our series where we are exploring Tel Aviv, Jerusalem, and the West Bank. Today we are heading to the West Bank and we are partnering with a local Palestinian tour company called Peace by Peace. If you didn't check out yesterday's episode, make sure to hit the link down in the description box. We took you for the most incredible food tour of the old city of Jerusalem. This is called kunefe, and it is a semolina dough that has been fried, stuffed with cheese, and then um, topped with some, some crushed pistachios and tons of sugar syrup. Oh no. That is dangerously delicious. Now the issues Israelis and Palestinians are grappling with here is far beyond the scope of this little YouTube video. Instead we are here to learn and better understand the people and the cultures through their food. So with that being said, let's head to the West Bank. So we just hopped on the bus number 231 on our way to Bethlehem to meet up with Rana from Peace by Peace Tours. I think it's gonna be about a 40 minute drive. We just jumped into a taxi here in Bethlehem. We are heading to a different district of Bethlehem called Beit Sahur, and we're going to be meeting up with a family, and we're going to be cooking a big feast for lunch called Zarb, which I'll tell you about a little bit more once we get there. Okay, so we are here with Rana and Osama from Peace by Peace Tour, and we are at the family's home now. What What is the name of the family? Uh, Banura family. Banura family, yes. and uh, we're gonna drink some coffee here in a bit, and then, uh, cook up the Zarb meal and if you guys want any sort of custom tour here in Palestine you can check out piece by piece tour the information will be down in the description box mm. thank you starting off with some coffee it smells really good <laughs> and there's some treats as well oh man that is the perfect way to start the day. Cookies? Christmas cookies. Christmas uh, our cookies. tradition yeah. Christmas cookies. What is inside? Uh, date. Date? Yeah. Oh, wow. We usually actually do this at Easter time because it uh, symbolizes the, the, the crown of Jesus. The crown of Jesus. Oh, yeah. Mm. And you can see the date inside. Oh, yeah. It tastes really nice. So that was a perfect way to get woken up to start cooking this Zarb meal. And what are we doing first? Getting the wood? Yeah, we're getting the wood inside the zarb. Inside the oven? Yeah. <laughs> so Elias is stuffing the oven full of the wood now, and this is the special zarb oven that they've actually built themselves. Um, there's five different little oven parts to it. It's this massive structure and this is what they're going to use to cook the Zarb meal. So starting the fire now, letting it warm up and then prepare the meat to go in. The oven is actually made out of a special type of rock and sand that is specific for holding in all of that heat. They're going to cover it in mud after we put the uh, meat inside and then just kind of let it smoke. So it's more of like a smoked meal, but this is just so cool. It's a handmade oven. So now it's time to prepare the, it's chicken, right? Yes. Chicken. And we're gonna spice it up and get it ready to go in the Zarb oven. Parjaj. Yeah. So chicken spices. Sumak, oh, sumak. A lot. A lot of sumak, yeah. The paprika, the Sweet paprika. Sweet paprika. And chili You chili. like hot too yes. much? Yes. You like it hot? Yeah, it's good. Whatever you like. Yeah. Yeah. 
Ah, 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 so they just added all the different spices in. Uh, I can just already smell the spices, and that is a lot of chicken, chicken legs, and that is gonna be good. I can already tell. Okay. The grapes, are they grown here? Grapes, yes. Yeah? So we have a local type of wine here from an area called Beit Jala, which is close to here, close to Bethlehem. And this is a red wine, it smells really good. Mmm. Oh, it's sweet. That was really good. How's the wine? Mm. It's so sweet and good. It doesn't have any sort of bitterness to it at all. It's kind of different from anything I've ever tried, but wow, really tasty. <laughs> And cold, really cold. Yeah, <laughs> syrup cold. Rana is waiting for the food. <laughs> <laughs> so right now we are waiting for the fire to kind of die down and the coals to fall to the bottom. And then once the temperature evens out and the fire dies down, the chicken will go into the zarb oven, and we're gonna close it up. I think they're gonna cover it in mud too, and then let that cook. And it takes about an hour. So the little platforms that the chickens and the vegetables will be sitting on uh, was just put into the oven to sanitize it just with the heat and then just taken out and uh, washed with some water so that the chicken doesn't stick to it. So I think the next step is going to be putting the meat in the oven. So you just saw the chicken and the vegetables are in the oven. It is super smoky trying to film this getting all in my eyes but the next step is to cover it with mud just to ensure that all that smoke stays in there and that it cooks properly. So the oven has been sealed up with all that mud and it's just containing the smoke even though a little bit is still seeping out and that chicken's gonna be in there for about an hour. We're going to uh, head to see some attractions here while that cooks. That was just such a cool experience to see the entire process. Really, really unique cooking uh, process. And this, as I mentioned, is called Zarb, which actually comes from the Bedouins that would cook it underground. This is a little bit more modern of a way to cook it in this oven that they've made, but still really, really cool, really unique. Okay. See, you see you soon. See you soon. See you soon. Thanks. Bye bye. Bye bye. So we're at a famous site here in Bethlehem, the Shepherd's Field, and we actually just stopped at a church, but this is the location where the angels came to tell the good news that Jesus was born. So it's a very historical and a very important place. And check out this church that's right behind us. Very beautiful, very interesting shape. And I think we're gonna go take a peek inside. finished off at the shepherd's fields that was really cool and very peaceful we're heading back to the family's home to check on the zarb <laughs> Wow. 
لك جزر من البصل شوف البطاطا اكثر من البصل من البطاطا لا اوه شو شو Oh, that smells so good. So the table is set, the food is done. It looks absolutely incredible and smells even better. So I've assembled my plate here. I think I have a little bit of everything. It looks absolutely delicious. I'm gonna start with just a little bit of couscous here. This is with the fresh chickpeas. Mm. Oh, that is some seriously tender chickpeas and goose goose, but it still has a nice little texture to it and a little bit of a garlic flavor too. All right, time for the PS3 resistance, the Zarb chicken going in with my fingers here. Oh, it's hot. You can just see the like spice has crusted onto the outside. It will stick with your hands. Stick with my hands? The smell, and then after one hour you want more. <laughs> I'm okay with that. All right, let's try it. It's <laughs> really good. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is so, so good. So smoky, super spicious, but not not spicy. And, and you can definitely taste that sumac in there. It's almost got like a citrusy flavor, but that is some seriously tender chicken. Oh, wow. Ooh. Wow. So, so good. Really flavorful. So these roasted onions go perfectly with the chicken. I'm just gonna take a little piece of onion here. And then I've got another piece of chicken. This is my second piece. And you gotta get some of that skin in there. It's almost like a crust of flavor. Oh man. That is seriously juicy chicken. It's seriously smoky. Yeah, it did. Taste that with some garlic rice. Well, we made a good attempt at finishing the food. There was so much. I, this is the definition of stuffed right now. I am so full. Everything was delicious. I particularly love the couscous and also, of course, the chicken. That chicken was just mouth-watering, perfectly cooked with the outside being nice and crispy, but then really juicy on the inside. That was awesome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome thank you, thank you. We need to take a nap. Yeah. Is that do. next on our schedule to go sleep for a little bit? Let's have it now. <laughs> Is that now? <laughs> I think it's okay. So we are all just relaxing after that massive meal, uh, trying not to fall asleep. And we've got some more coffee here, which will definitely help us. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You're, you're Thank welcome. you so much. You're Thank welcome. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So we just left Bayat Zahur, we came back to Bethlehem, uh, the central area of Bethlehem, and we're heading to the Star Street, is that right? Star Street, and we're gonna somehow eat some more food, <laughs> some street foods, and just check out the area. <laughs> All right. And, and we've got a little bag of za'atar here. With this is with salt in it. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. salty. And then sprinkle some inside. So you take some, and you put some in. Oh wow. You can try. You want? Okay. Yeah. Let's try it. Out. Mm. Yeah. Huh. Okay, I'll try this oh, one too. that is seriously fresh. 
Mm. Oh, yeah. How it tastes? It's really good. It's almost like a, it kind of reminds me of a pretzel and a bagel, but it's really big, doughy. Mm. And sesame seeds on the outside are nice. Those toasted sesame seeds are awesome. And you definitely need to have some za'atar. Mm -hmm. A little bit salty, almost like floral. You want some Osama? <laughs> Where are we going next? Uh, we are now going, uh, we will drive uh, towards Star Street uh, because we will go to the um, uh, market. So we are walking down the narrow streets of Bethlehem here. It is quite a feeling to be here walking in the footsteps of Jesus and to see all the different stalls set up. We're in the shuk, the market. Uh, there's all kinds of different restaurants. But as Osama said, a lot of uh, business ex has actually left this area. But luckily, some is returning. And it is just really picturesque, these narrow cobblestone alleyways. We're going to keep going and see what we find. <laughs> You can test it. On the top. And uh, this is something traditional from our traditional Ooh. sweets. Yes. So it's sesame this is to try. with some nuts on top. So we have some sort of a sesame seed candy. You can see it's like a bunch of sesame seeds on the bottom. Feels like there's probably some syrup holding it together. And then there's some nuts on the top. So let me try this out. This one you can keep it for two, three months, doesn't have anything on it. Good? Mm. Oh, it's sweet and delicious. It's almost like a, almost like peanut butter and sesame paste, but then a little bit chewy. That's good. Mm. Oh yeah. It's a little sweeter than it. It looks like it's going to be. It's quite nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Smells good. You are very good. Kutri la tabshi feed, galbi na far mayrid. Kutri la tabshi feed, galbi na far mayrid. لو قلت لي نادم لو تشعل العشرة يا خاين العشرة انسى غرامك راح سألت الزين أخذوها لوين قالوا هي هي شردت لا حالة بقى لي يوم ما شفت النوم قلت لا بطل خليني في البيت يا ملك في الحب ضحايا وبيحكوا عنك حكايات وبيقولوا انك بتألف في الليلة سبع غنوات So we are sitting down at this really really cool tiny hole in the wall tea shop and he just prepared the most creative amazing looking tea that I've ever seen. He must have added seven, eight, nine or more ingredients in there. Things that I saw go in were mint leaves. I saw a full stick of cinnamon you can see floating on top there, cardamom pod, pods, um, a lemon slice, all kinds of different thing and just singing the whole time too. So <laughs> really enjoyable to watch him make this. Let's try it out. Wow, yeah. That is packed with flavor. I love the cinnamon in there and the cardamom, a little bit minty, all kinds of herbal flavors going on there. Mm. But it's not too strong. That is really, really good. And there's a little bit of ginger too, I think. Oh, just check that out. That is a thing of beauty. That perhaps may be the greatest cup of tea that I've ever had in my entire life. The owner there, Sammy, is just really funny, really nice guy. And that was just delicious, I feel revitalize and re-energize after that. 
We are at a little street food stall that is selling falafel, which is ground chickpeas uh, deep fried. Okay, we just ordered up some falafels. They are fresh out of the fryer, super hot. Here, this must be. Thank you. Oh, they are smoking hot. Oh. Here, do you want to hold it in this? No, nope, I got okay. it. Okay, let's try these out. Piping hot. <laughs> Oh yeah. It almost tastes like a meatball. It's so crispy on the outside. Sort of like breadcrumbs on the outside. And very creamy on the inside. But it's also meaty. Mm. It's definitely got some sustenance to it. It's also very spicious. Yeah, lots of so, spices and herbs. You could usually mistake this for a meatball. It's good. A little salty too. Mm. <sighs> They're hot. <laughs> <laughs> So that falafel was delicious. We only had one bulb, and we're actually heading to the Church of Nativity right now. So, very important place. So we are going into the Church of Nativity now. This is the site of Jesus' birth, uh, among other things. And we're just gonna go in. I can't believe we're here right now. This is really incredible. Check out the door that you go in here. Ready? Let's go in. So we are in the grotto now where Jesus was born. Uh, you just saw the people, the Polish people, the pilgrims singing and uh, chanting their prayers. And the actual site of which Jesus Christ was born, you can touch and see. Absolutely incredible. Well, it's definitely tight down there with all the tourists and pilgrims, but still, what a sight to see. I'm blessed to have been here and seen that now. So we just left the Church of Nativity and drove a few minutes down the street from a very happy place to a very sad place. So we're here at the Israeli-Palestinian barrier wall. So we just finished off checking out the wall and um, also a hotel here that's called the Walled Off Hotel. It's got all kinds of boutique art in there, especially by the artist Banksy. So now, after a little bit of sombering events, we're heading to get some dessert. So our final stop today is for this famous dessert. Canafe. Once again, canafe with cheese. Semolina dough, pistachios on top? Yeah. Look, look at, at the cheese, look at that. Oh man, <laughs> this is heart attack yeah. dessert. Mm. <laughs> I love it. This one's like quite it? fresh. Mm -hmm. The top like crumbles and it's sweet and saturated with syrup. But then that cheese is like gooey, stringy, and a little bit savory. You it's cannot eat too much of this, I'm telling you. We have been eating so much of it. And <laughs> we keep we've saying. probably gained a lot of weight. <laughs> we keep saying you can't eat too much of it, but we keep eating it. Look at that. Beautiful. Mm. Your favorite dessert? Mm -hmm. Still? Mm -hmm. Okay, we are all completely stuffed full <laughs> and we just finished off with dessert that was amazing and today was an incredible day so thank you to Osama and Rana for this incredible day thank with you. piece by piece tours as I said you can check them out uh, and you can book your custom tour with all the information in the description box but also give them a follow on Facebook and yeah just thank you so much guys you're welcome, I'm so you're welcome. incredible made our trip for yes, the highlight of our trip for sure we just jumped on the bus back to Jerusalem and I'll catch up with you guys once we get back there All right, we are back in Jerusalem. That was an incredible day. And I just wanna talk about our experience as this is the last episode of the series. We are heading to Naples, Italy next. But yeah, I just wanna reflect on the past few days. Overall, today was our favorite day. It really was an incredible day to have the opportunity to have a home-cooked meal with uh, Elias's family. They were so hospitable, so generous, and the food was so delicious, but the people were so friendly. And Rana and Osama were incredible tour guides. I highly recommend them. 
And if you are ever traveling to Tel Aviv or Jerusalem, you have to go to the West Bank because it really just puts everything into perspective. You know, we saw some really happy, incredible sites like the birthplace of Jesus Christ, but we also saw some really saddening things like the separation wall. And just hearing the stories from Osama and Rana put everything into perspective in a way that you really can't understand unless you come here and see it for yourself. So you have to go to uh, Palestine, the West Bank, when you visit here. Um, and I would recommend checking out Piece by Piece tours because they did just an incredible job. Uh, overall, this trip has been really eye-opening. I came here with a lot of questions and uh, I still have a lot of questions, but it was an incredible trip. And the thing that made this trip so incredible, even more than all the delicious food, were the people. The people were absolutely incredibly friendly. Everyone was so hospitable and generous and we met a lot of friendly people. So thank you to everyone who was part of this series. And I hope that you as the viewer are respectful uh, to these videos and understand that uh, putting the politics aside for the you know, enjoyment of just seeing the people and the food and the travel and um, know that we, I hope you can see that we were very careful with what we did here and we were responsible travelers as we always are, but especially here. And um, it really was a once in a lifetime opportunity to come here and today was the best day of this trip, uh, experiencing that Zarb meal with the family. So delicious, so friendly, yeah, amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed the series. Um, next up, Naples, Italy. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and we'll see you again very soon. So thanks for watching guys, bye-bye.